Good morning, rise and shine. Week three, I think, or four on building the yurt. Today we're gonna to be putting in the footers foundation for the yurt. We haven't got the excavator yet. We're getting a trade in. So we're doing these by hand today with the tractor and auger, which should be fun. But here we go. He's camera shy. So, I'm getting out of breath because I'm fat. <laughs> so, we've been digging um, these splitters here. We're going to be putting in 16 of these. Uh, they're about two and a half feet wide, and we've got to go about, I don't know, three feet deep. And so, we've done multiple options here, but we found a water pipe going to the main building in two of the holes that we have to have footers in. So we're going to have to redirect from here, do a split and then trench all the way around and move this pipe. So this is another fun aspect when you're building a yurt and you don't know where water lines are. Sometimes they're right in the middle where you need footers. So you have to trench it out, fix it and um, make it right. So we will show you the process here. It's coming along. So we started out this morning digging all those holes and we found a water pipe. The water pipe, as I showed you, is the main water pipe that goes to the cafeteria, the RV sites, and there's like three conversion points. It goes from like one and a half inch to two inch to like actually irrigation line. So we're gonna have to cut a 90 and go all the way around the yurt. Needless to say, we dug all those holes by hand and now we just filled them all back up by hand and tamped them. And we have a skid steer showing up with a 36 inch auger. So today was a learning experience with a lot of labor uh, for no reason. <laughs> but anyhow, another day. Machine is here, and now we're gonna dig these holes with the quickness.
Okie dokie. So we have this tarped off now. It's gonna rain for the next three days. We got eight of these uh, footers in, um, going about three feet deep, three and a half feet wide. But uh, we finally got the auger in here just because this Georgia clay is just so hard. It just made it a lot easier. But um, what you're gonna be seeing here, the next couple of videos starting to pour concrete. So hopefully next week we'll be uh, pouring the patio concrete, these footers, and then you'll actually see in the foundation of the yurt in place and we can start putting on the floor and actually building and working with wood rather than uh, Georgia clay. So um, pretty crazy day digging having to fill the holes because we found a water line that we couldn't go around right now so it was a little bit um i guess you know five steps forward three steps back today it was a little disheartening um but we're moving in the right direction with the machinery um anyhow project is coming along the yurt is going to get built <laughs>